Motown girl. Hey everyone, today I'm going to build a pair of loudspeakers for my kit. I'm pretty excited about this because loudspeaker kits are one of those classic DIY projects you hear old timers in the hardware community talk about. First off, let's talk about what kind of speakers we are making. If you follow my Instagram, Really Sexy Cybrock, you'll notice I never use any kind of filters or effects or anything, just color correction. And sometimes I have a burn or cuts on my hands from workshop work, I edit that out. But imagine trying to do color correction on an image that already had one of those goofy blurry filters applied. It would be really tough. You want the most accurate representation of the image you're working on in order to make any corrections. Even if that raw image doesn't look so pretty, it's the same idea with audio. The audio we are used to hearing kind of has filters applied, exaggerating bass and stuff like that. So games and movies, so dum dum dum. Most consumer audio equipment is designed to sound good to our ears, but good isn't the same as accurate. And if we are doing editing, we want accurate. For that, you need what's called studio monitors, very accurate sounding speakers. From my reading this week, it seems the BBC kind of came up with a lot of ideas surrounding studio monitors. So it's not surprising that many of the best monitors have come from the UK and they're well known for them. The Little British Monitor is a Kickstarter project to offer a nice up-to-date studio monitor in that tradition for a reasonable price. It's created by an audio engineer by the name of Simon Ashton. And Simon was nice enough to send me a kit to build and reveal. I've never built anything out of wood or any audio equipment. But fortunately, it comes with really detailed instructions. So let's give it a go. Oh, some candies, thank you. Oh, some foam. All right. Hmm, cables and more components.
I'm just gonna mark the wires and draw W for waffles. Now I'm going to tape the other wires and mark it with a marker T. All right, here you go. Let's have a listen. I know this is not the perfect listening setup, as I know you'll say in the comment, but this is what I've got. At least all the music is in lossless format. Let's have a listen to my playlist. but my mom used to play over and over again so I know this song really well I know it's a good song for testing Okay, they sound great. I know you can tell through YouTube, but they have a really rich, 
full sound and there is a lot of detail I've never heard before even in sounds I know really well. Still, I'll leave, dis leave discussion of that up to audio files. I just know what sounds good to me. I have to say a lot of kits I've seen out there don't really leave you with something useful, but this really is. I can use it whenever I edit video. Aside from saving a bit of money, it's quite a lot of fun and very satisfying. Okay, I'm going to leave the link in the description box in case you want to get your own little British monitors. Please like, subscribe, repost, and tell your friends. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.